In today's episode, we have this beautiful, brand new Acura TL, no, it's a TLX S-Type in for our new car prep and ceramic services. Also, if you're interested in any of the tools or the products or any of the free forms, so we have our acknowledgement form as well as our vehicle inspection and sign off form. Click the links down below. It'll go to the products page on our website and you can download these forms for free as well as get links to all the different products and tools that we use in the videos. Don't forget to use code Miranda10 when you're shopping at Car Supplies Warehouse, you'll get 10% off. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. You can definitely see some junk on the paint. It's not horrible, but this is just from, you know, a couple of days rain that we had and driving it and it got some junk on it. Wow, the paint is extremely smooth. At least down here it is. Do you feel it crunchy up there? So even though we use the iron decon, I don't really see any purple reaction. And that's on the wheels. So it's brand new. The paint doesn't need it. The wheels don't even need it. So yeah, it just needs a good deep cleaning. That's it. I apologize for the background noise. We have fans going, so it's a little loud. Let's now get to polishing. We just completed cleansing the interior. We're gonna coat the interior after we're done polishing. As we look at the paint, it's really not bad, but you see those marks? Actually, some of these are chips. The customer may be able to bring the paint to us in time to do it, but if not, he's not concerned about it. It is what it is. This is a daily driver anyway. It does stay in the garage, but he does drive it on one of the major highways here. And unfortunately, this is what we have to contend with. We have some other little marks here that it's just residue that kind of dried there. That'll polish right away. That's not a problem. Just a light haze. That will clear up perfectly. Not bad at all, we'll use the orange pad. We're gonna use the Dr. Beasley's NSP 45 or 95? Which one do you have? The 45, okay. And uh, we'll polish some sections and see how they're turning out. So there is a little bit of a learning curve to this polish. You have to use the tiniest amount, work it long enough so that it starts to like dry up on the panel, then the wipe off will be much easier. Sometimes a little bit of a haze return, sometimes a little smeary. Don't be concerned. As long as the paint looks good when you first wipe it, you can coat right over that smeariness or that haziness that may come back, and it's not a problem. It's just the anchor points in the polish, the ceramic anchor points that sometimes they, they kind of flash, they kind of come to the surface. Not a problem. Coat right over it, it bonds, it clears up crystal clear, looks beautiful. It helps the any ceramic coating bond better. That is the technology behind these NSP polishes. We've been using them for a year now and the vehicles are coming back looking incredible.
Well, polishing is now done. The paint is looking incredible. This blue just pops and it's got the metallic in it. It is gorgeous. So it really didn't take too much. There were some areas we had to uh, use the 95, which is their medium compound, the NSP 95 from Dr. Beasley's. And uh, that corrected any, you know, hazing and things like that in the paint. I polished all the glass with PNS Clarity Cream and just an orange foam pad. I didn't need to use microfiber pads because there's no water spots or anything like that to contend with. A foam pad will clean the glass just fine. And then I wiped it all down with a panel wipe, the glass that is. The paint, we don't need to do that. So I'm going to coat all the glass and then we're gonna to go to lunch, come back and we'll start coating the paint, the interior, the wheels, all of that and get this thing done for the day. Now for the coating, I'm using the Gloss Boss uh, glass coating. This is their Boss Vision. Simple coating, it lasts up to two years and it's very, very easy to apply. Like most glass coatings, it's just a matter of getting even coverage and that's it. Wifey's gonna do interior leather and vinyl protection. I'm gonna start on the exterior on the paint. Actually, she may even do the trim. Are you gonna do the trim first? No? What do you mean no? What do you mean no? Well, I guess there's not a lot of trim actually because it's all the black gloss, which looks incredible. Now you see a little bit of the uh, smearing in the paint. That's just the NSP polish. Coming back a little bit, it just does that. That's not a problem. Coat right over it, disappears, we get clarity and we get ultimate protection. Now, as far as protection, I thought I was gonna use the Crystal Serum Light. Let's switch it up. I haven't gotten a chance to use the Phoenix Chronos yet. Now, this is actually quite an upgrade for the customer because this is rated at like a five to seven year coating. So I'm actually giving the customer a really nice upgrade using that. The Crystal Serum Light is rated at a three to five year. So that's what we're gonna use for the exterior protection. Since there's not a lot of black textured plastic to deal with here, she's gonna do interior leather and vinyl. And she's using the Dr. Beasley's Leather Lock. So that can be used on all of the leather plastic vinyl hard surfaces on the inside. And for fabric protection, I have a little bit of the 303 stain guard. So I'll use this probably just in one section like the drivers. And then the rest of it, I have the Nazial Cabin Care. This is their nano fabric protection. I'll use this on the rest of it. As far as application goes, as you can see, it's very, very simple. It's just wipe on, let it kind of dry, and you can wipe it off, but it usually just dries to a matte finish and you don't even see it on there. Now this has Alcantara in the middle. I'll show you how I deal with that. She's gonna do all the leather in all the surrounding areas, and I'll show you how to do the Alcantara protection because that's using the fabric protection. I am gonna use gloves today. I actually got a bunch of these gloves from Golden Protective Services. They send us some samples and they're just really nice black nitrile gloves. And these are just little sample packs. So they come with um, a two, you know, a set of two. And uh, it looks like they also have a couple of different types of gloves, which is pretty cool. But for doing coatings, since we're inside, we're not sweating, it's not hot and humid in here. I can wear these for maybe about an hour or so because I don't want to get the coating on my hands, obviously. Oh, you know what? I just got to, I just remembered something. That's medium, these are yours. I just realized that they actually sent us two different samples, a medium and a large sample. So the mediums are Jess's, let me get mine. Here we go, here's the large ones. Oh, check it out. Oh, I didn't realize that. They sent us orange ones too, in the large size. Well, that's pretty cool. Maybe there's different colors. I didn't, I didn't open up all the packages yet. That's nice. If you're interested in any shirts also, I have these really nice colored dress shirt, dress shirts? No, work shirts. Um, check out the links down below. You can buy these. I have them in a variety of colors. Comes with the logo in the front, logo in the website in the back. They're super nice premium cotton t-shirts. They're awesome. So these gloves are actually textured. You can see the texture on them. These are actually excellent for dog hair. When we were mobile and doing tons of dog hair removal jobs, we don't do them as much anymore because I don't like to do them. These are great for removing dog hair from upholstery and carpets and stuff. So let's use the Kronos coating. Does this have a dropper? Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that, it does. I don't like these little suede cloths. I don't use them. I don't think they apply very nicely. That's just my personal opinion and my personal experience. But I will use them to clean the tops of these bottles. Make sure they're nice and clean. My favorite applicators are these. Oh, this is really slow. Oh, here we go. So I do put a little bit more than usual initially 
just to prime the pad. You can make it touch it so it has a, a line of product also like so. Butterfly it so it's nice and even. And then box out the area that I'm going to apply the coating. So I'm going to do a small section first, maybe a two by two section or shoulder width section. So it's a nice thick coating, goes on really nice and thick. I'm not thinking this is the type of coating that separates like crystal serum light. I can actually start to see it rainbowing just a little bit. It creates a little bit of that rainbowing effect. So you can let that sit on there for about 30, 60 seconds. I'm going to take my first towel and gently wipe. And it is a little bit of a grabbier coating. So it's not a slick coating, it's a grabby one. But usually the pro ones are a little bit of a grabby coating because you're dealing with heavy solids here. So second towel goes in. And I'm going to put the camera down in a moment and double check with lights and make sure that it's all removed. Now I'm going to use the scan grip light here and from a good height, a good distance here, I can see if there's any spots. Now once this cures initially, the 12 to 24 hours, I will then top it with Titan, which is also from Phoenix EOD. Looks really good. Nice and crystal clear. Here's where we applied the coating. Here's the Dr. Beasley's. Um, you can see the NSP polish doing a little bit of that, that smeariness, but it clears right up. And what you're seeing is actually just some reflection from the light. But it's nice and crystal clear. It looks awesome. It is buffing. So it's very straightforward and easy, but just take your time and go slow with wiping. Don't try to wipe the coating off so quickly because it is a slightly grabby coating. It's smooth. It's nice and smooth on the panel and the application and even the wipe off. It's smooth, but it is not a slick coating. So just be wary of that. But this customer is getting quite the upgrade. A little dusty. A little dusty. You can also quicken things along by using your towel kind of like a fan until you start seeing the uh, little rainbow lines in the coating. And I have found with these thicker coatings going in small circular motions like this does help with the application. I mean the removal. I was using Gion Pure the other day and it's just like this. Application and removal is identical. So just do your due diligence and get around to all of the edges, check with your lights and make sure that everything is wiped off. If you want to use three towels, you can use three towels, not a problem. And one layer is all you need for this coating. Now once you get comfortable with the ceramic coating, you'll find yourself doing larger and larger sections, which is totally fine. That actually speeds things up. And just make sure, again, to do your due diligence with your lights and your towels and make sure to wipe all of your perimeter. It kind of helps you with um, managing the spaces because sometimes if you do too small of a space, it's hard to remember exactly where you cut the panel into those, into those areas. So to keep it simple, cut the hood, say, into quarters and it'll be much easier to mentally see it, you know, because you can't really see it going on and once you wipe it off, that's you pretty much it. You mentally see it. You see it with your mind's eye. You see it with your mind's eye. It's deep. <laughs> Whoa. He can like mentally see the coating on the paint. That's like amazing. That was like a weird California, Australian accent. I don't, I really don't know what that accent was. I apologize to my fellow detailers in California and Australia for those horrible, horrible accents. It, it may have been, yep, yep. I can tell by your stinky face that you're like, no, you do call you No, it's not. You do it all the time. You do it all the time, all the time, all the time. Yes, you do. You make stinky faces at me. Just stink. Do you like that stuff? 
Yeah, I do. It's uh, it's a very hardy coating. I can just I can just tell by the application. It's insane. This is a pro level coating that he's selling. It's yeah, it's some hardcore stuff. No residue. I think you're lying. You liar. It's like putting stickers on microfiber towels. Yeah. What? Wait, people do that all the time now. Yeah. That is very very stupid. Alexa, play my favorite music. So I'm gonna use the cabin care from Nazial for the Alcantara and for pretty much all of the carpets. I think I'll use the rest of the stain guard from 303 on the driver's side just cause I wanna use it up. Here's what I do. I grab an old applicator and I will drench like a half moon on this applicator. I'll show you what I mean. Like that. And I will kind of drench it. I'm doing it very light on camera cause I don't wanna get any overspray you can go really close to it like so. And you go in and rub the Alcantara down with it. That way it's controlled. It's not getting a super, super heavy application of it. That's okay. This is Alcantara perforated also. So you don't wanna just douse it because it's got heated and cooled seats and all of that to protect it. And to be very controlled, this is what you do. So you do one really heavy application or two light applications, letting them dry in between and you can go in and even wipe down some of the vinyl even with this little applicator just flip it over easy that's pretty much all you need to do 